What's up? My name is TechNobay here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another quick video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Minecraft Forge for Minecraft 1.18. The installation process is super simple, but if you get confused anywhere along the line, this video is going to help you get from start to finish. It's really nice and simple. In the description down below, you'll find a link to the Forge download page. Simply head across here and it should take you to the latest version. Make sure you have 1.18 selected on the left hand side and it says downloads for Minecraft Forge MC 1.18. When you see this, you're on the correct page. All you have to do is click installer over here to download the installer for Minecraft Forge. With this, you're able to create your own servers and of course install the Forge client, which is what we'll be doing in this video here. If you'd like to learn how to set up a Forge server, that'll be in a separate video. So click skip in the very top right when the timer runs out and you'll have a jar file on your computer. Simply clicking on this file here should open up a new program, but of course, if it doesn't for you, you'll need to make sure that you have Java installed. In the description down below, you'll find a link on how to do so. On top of that, if it's still not opening and you're sure you have Java installed, you'll find a jar fix link in the description down below. Simply follow that short guide and you should be able to open up this program as you were hoping. When it does eventually open up, you'll see this here. Simply choose install client and click OK. Upon doing so, it'll download a couple of extra files and Minecraft Forge 1.18 should be installed. If you haven't already played Minecraft 1.18, you may be asked to launch it up at least once, especially if this installation process doesn't work properly for you and you haven't yet tried Vanilla 1.18. All you have to do is just drop yourself into the main menu. Anyways, when the installation process is complete, click OK and the program will then close itself. If we hit start, type in Minecraft, then simply fire up the Minecraft launcher, whether you got it from Minecraft's website or the Microsoft Store, it doesn't matter. Select Java Edition after signing in, and from the drop down list over here, you should see Forge on the list. 1.18 Forge, etc, etc. All you have to do from here is click play, play, and your game should then be starting up. It's nice and simple. Here we go. As you can see, it's currently Forge Beta, but that's just because Minecraft 1.18 was recently released, and this will eventually fix itself when we download a newer version in the future. Regardless, as long as you see the mods folder here and Forge in the bottom left, things have been set up properly. All you have to do to install mods is click mods over here, followed by open mods folder. Or you can hold start and press R, and inside of here, type percentage app data percentage and hit enter. Then you'll be dropped into this app data roaming folder here. Open dot Minecraft and the mods for them and will be right here. All you have to do is download jars and throw them in here. Super simple. If you don't see this folder, head across to view and make sure you have hidden items ticked over here. Then you should be able to navigate into here without issue. Once you've dropped mods into here, you will need to restart your game completely in order for things to work properly. Do keep in mind, Forge is both a client and a server, so some mods will be for one and not the other, and some will be for both. So do keep that in mind, especially if you're going to be playing with friends. But anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. If you'd like to learn how to set up a Forge server, there'll be a link in the description down below, as well as one for paper, fabric, etc, etc. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!